우리 늦었어 늦었어 엄마 엄마 <laughs> when was the last time you were here in Korea? Oh, I think 12 years ago. Oof. So a lot of things have changed, right? Like, when I come out from the airport, on the way here, I don't remember anything. <laughs> yeah, but uh, I noticed that the area is getting busier and busier and busier. Yeah. I see a lot of people. Because when I came here, I, I didn't spend time in Seoul. Mm. I went to Busan. Oh. So I didn't really see much of Seoul. So, so how, how was it like seeing Seoul? Busy. Busy? <laughs> like is it busier than Singapore? Uh, I would say same but I would say yeah, so many cafes yeah. on the way here when I walk here I see so many shops so many cafes yeah. so many people busy 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 yeah. if I can remember correctly in uh -huh. Busan it's not so busy but that's 12, 12 years, years ago, ago. <laughs> yeah so I don't I don't really remember much but all I can say is it's a very busy place I can't wait to go shopping and yeah. Shopping. Shopping. I know, I know you want to go shopping. I want to eat lots of Korean food. Yes. So when I first told you that I was going to move to Korea, how did you feel and what did you think about? I was a bit worried. <laughs> Why? Because I moved to Norway. So I know how difficult it is to learn the language, to understand the culture and to be able to, to be accepted. Yeah. in this society. So it was difficult for me for the first three, four years, especially language. But I know you are very good in language. So I know that you can learn the language very well. The, when it comes to culture, I'm not sure. Mm. I wasn't really sure whether... I would be able to assimilate yes, into the yes, culture. Yeah. Mm. But I think from the way you tell me all this while, you mm. are able to get along. Yeah. The first year was difficult, definitely. Was it? Yeah. How, how difficult was it? Uh, on a scale of 1 to 10, 100. <laughs> okay. In what sense? Culture wise, behave, like the way that we behave in Singapore and the way that we be have to behave here is completely different. Okay. Like, or with like older people, like because it's a hierarchy culture right, here, right? right? So it was a bit difficult to adjust to that. You have to respect the yeah. elder more. Okay. Yeah. But otherwise, friends and people, are they? I had no friends the first year. <laughs> Oh, I was just stuck at home and I did nothing for the first year, so it was really difficult. So how how do I appear to you now? Now? Yeah. I can see that you are so much happier. I can tell that you are adapting to the culture, and I can tell that your language wise is actually very good, that especially when we do video call yeah. with your mother in law. Yeah. And it helped me to translate. Yeah. That, that. I was like, wow, Fiji can speak Korean. Remember, I told you that I had depression, and then suddenly I was like diagnosed with ADHD. Yes. So, what did you think about that? <laughs> I'm actually very happy happy that you get help. I was um, no a bit sad actually that I couldn't help you. So I'm happy that you, you get help because I know you were struggling with something. I have no expertise in this. I, yeah. I have no knowledge about ADHD. I have no knowledge about <laughs> depression. Not many people do. <laughs> no, I don't. I'm very glad that you did mm -hmm. and uh, I can see the changes. You are so much like Happy. Vibrant and happy right. and joyful yeah. and uh, this is the baby that I, I want to see. And I wasn't, I remember when I was in Singapore, I didn't like, I was so scared to, to get like help. But then after when I came here and Jake was like, no, we're going to go and get help and I don't regret that at all. That's good. Yeah. At least you take the initiative to yeah. do that. Yeah. I wish I could tell you what to do, but I didn't know what to do. Mm, it's alright. Yeah. I remember when I was in Singapore, I couldn't, I, I didn't get like help because it's super expensive in Singapore mm. to get help. Is it uh, yeah. affordable here? Oh, yeah, it's really affordable here to oh, get help. That's amazing. Yeah, and when I came to Korea, I remember the first the first year was so difficult. I was at, I was stuck at home. I didn't want to go out. Yep. I didn't want to speak to yep. anybody. And then one day, Jake was like, you know what? You should go and get you checked out. And then he got me. He made an appointment with the local psychiatrist. Mm. And then it went off. We got she got me assessed 
for depression first and then mm. suddenly she asked if like um, if I want to check for ADHD so she got me to fill out, fill out like this test and apparently it's 100% confirmed that I have ADHD I didn't feel sad I was did you like kind of like have a suspicion you have yeah. that so I was just like ah so that's 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 what's wrong okay okay <laughs> but uh, it's very supportive of Jake to to yeah. help you he didn't understand it at first yeah but it was eye opening for him as well I guess it's an eye opener for me <laughs> as well because before that I have no clue what that is all about ADHD mm. and depression, yeah. Mm. But at least now I've gotten treated here in Korea. How long mm. do you have to have your treatment? Forever. Really? Yeah. Don't they have like assessment every year? Or? Yeah, they do. But because it was diagnosed too late, so I have to do it till, you know, <laughs> forever. So what kind of uh, treatment do you receive? Just medication. How often is the medication? Every three weeks. Pill or? Yeah, so I have to take a pill every day for three weeks and then I go back to the doctor and then she gives me another assessment and then see if I need to up my medication. Up or less? Yeah, up or less. Okay, but you have to take the medication continuously yeah, for the rest for, of for your life. for the rest life. of my life. I see. Yeah. You mm. told me that you now wake up very early in the morning. Normally, you get up like so late mm -hmm. in the afternoon. I was like, does a medication like that help you so much. Even Jake was surprised that just like the medication itself, the, after taking it, my mm. whole personality, my whole lifestyle just changed for the better. So it was just like... So what's the main thing you noticed that... It's not helped. noisy up here anymore. So I can think and I can right. read You can better. focus. Yeah, I can focus, yeah. That's great. Yeah. You know what? I'm so happy that you met Jake. But I'm very happy that you met Jake. The first mm. time when I met Jake, you know, I have this good feeling that he is for you. Okay. But at the same time, I was a bit worried because he was working in Singapore. He's Korean. What if he comes back to Korea? What's going to happen to you? Mm. But I'm very happy that he takes you with him. And ever since you are with him, you are much brighter, much happier. <laughs> so, how is it like having a Korean? Son-in-law, I love him. <laughs> he is so polite, so respectful, so responsible. Mm -hmm. Looking after my daughter, mm -hmm. he promised to look after you, and yeah. so far he did that. He comes into your life, mm -hmm. and he comes into our life. So grateful. So now you don't have to worry about me anymore, huh? No. <laughs> I trust, trust Jake, hundred percent. I trust, and uh, you trust my husband. So far, he has been doing a good job. I'm doing well in Korea so you don't have to worry about me oh, I'm not worried now I trust that you will look after yourself well especially after you get your medication yes no worry and I trust Jake uh. I'm so happy you're married to very very lovely Korean family I love you baby love you too. Oh. don't cry no I won't cry don't cry <laughs>